Welcome. Our spiritual exercise today takes us to the Gospel of John, chapter 20. We'll uh, have a little imaginative prayer today and a guided meditation as we enter into the resurrection, Jesus revealing himself to the apostles in the upper room. If you have your Bible with you, I want to invite you to maybe open it to John chapter 20. Again, John chapter 20. I want to invite you to read verses 1 through 23 on your own, and then we'll pick it up with a guided meditation with verses 24 through 29. Again, John chapter 20, read verses 1 through 23 on your own. Go ahead and hit pause now on this recording, and then rejoin me once you have read verses 1 through 23. Now that you have read John 20, verses 1 through 23, we'll pick it up as I read for us verses 24 to 29, and then lead us in a guided meditation. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger into the nail marks and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side. And do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and believed. Holy Spirit, we ask that you would guide our spiritual senses today. Bring us into the upper room. Help us to see, to hear, to feel what they saw and heard and felt. Give us the grace of docility so that we might let you lead us. I invite you to close your eyes. I want you to imagine that upper room. We have been there in the Last Supper with the washing of feet. The upper room. Imagine a room stone walls, stone floor. In your mind's eye, just let what the upper room would have looked like to you come to its image. Now in the upper room, imagine that the apostles are there with Mary, and you are with them. Focus on Mary first. What does Mary look like as she is there? She has seen the Lord. She knows he's alive. Imagine the other apostles. Imagine them one by one, the same men that were around that campfire with you. The same men who were there with you with the walking of the water and the multiplication of the loaves and fish. Imagine that you are there with them in the upper room. And as you glance up, Jesus is in the room. Even though the doors were locked, he's just there. 
He's walking towards you. Just look at his eyes for a moment. Eyes that have conquered death. Eyes that are risen from the dead. His eyes are filled with light as he walks towards you. Remember that face that you saw on the cross? That's not the same face now. It looks like him again. Perfectly perfect. And then it's risen state. Even his face is filled with light. His body almost seems like it's glowing. He reaches out his hand to you and you can see you can see there's a hole through it. The wound is there, but it's not grotesque looking. It's almost glorified. It's almost like it, it was always supposed to be there. He looks at you and says, put your finger here and see my hands. Do not be unbelieving, but believe. He takes your hand with his fingers. You can feel his skin up against your skin now. And with his other hand, he places before you, and so it's almost like he's placing your hand in his other hand, and you can feel his skin rubbing up against your fingers. You can touch his his body, Jesus, risen his body. And with the tip of your index finger, you actually can feel where the nail was. He places your hand, which is now in his hand, against your cheek. And he looks at you and he says, do you believe? He's looking at you right now. Risen from the dead. Asking you, do you believe? Stay there with him. For he is risen. And God bless you.